Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about March <clears throat> March 19th, League of Legends DFS Slate. Um, yesterday, I was not feeling well, so I did not make a video. Um, but today, I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, so I wanted to get this out to you uh, before 10 to 10.30 Eastern time. So hopefully, that gives everyone enough time to, you know, uh, hopefully... Um, uh, consider some of my uh, metrics and some of my eye tests and some of my match predictions uh, for you guys uh, for the upcoming DFS slate. So it's a four-game slate. Um, I'm not exactly sure why it's not a five-game slate. I, I guess there, on, there are only two games in LPL. Uh, we have some uh, new players, or I guess somewhat new players that are starting today for some of these teams. So I think that's important to point that out real quick. So for FPX, we have Xiao Liao Hu starting in the top lane over Fearness. Um, he's played before in the spring split, um, but Fearness has been starting, had been starting for the last month or so. Um, but Xiao Liao Hu is uh, retaking his place in the top position here. And then you see Cho Cho starting at support. And then for um, let's see, for Invictus Gaming, we have we have Nenny starting in the top lane, which I think is a huge uh downgrade from YSKM, who uh, you know, is one of the rookie of the year uh, cont uh contenders. Um so YSKM has been really, really good for IG. Uh despite IG's uh roller coaster like season so far. Um, but Nenny is a downgrade, in my opinion. Even though Nenny has had an all right season in the past, YSKM has been really, really good for IG, in my opinion. So I think that's a downgrade. But yeah, anyway. So those are some of the important, though, those are the important roster changes that we've seen in the LPL. And when we get to LCK, I'll point those out with any substitution risk. I kind of pointed those out on my tweet, but I just wanted to let you guys know that up front so that we don't play anybody that <laughs> is not starting today. So before we go into the ma matchup analyses, um, if you like my videos, if you find my videos informative, uh, please, please uh, smash the like button below. Uh, it would mean a lot and it would be greatly appreciated. All right, so let's dive into LPL. Um, we have some huge favorites, like you see LNG, at minus 550 and then EDG at minus 1400 in their respective matchups. Um, so first LNG versus IG is the first matchup we have. Sorry about my sneezes and uh, sniffles. Uh, LNG versus IG. So LNG is starting the regular five. Um, Zika, Tarzan, and Scout, the top half of this team have been really, really good. Probably one of the best in the LPL, in my opinion. But the bottom lane is what has uh, caused them some issues and really have not been playing as well as the other top half that I just talked about. So that's a little concern. But Tarzan, and as I, I think I mentioned this before on the previous LNG slate, uh, Scout is probably is, yeah, hands down the best mid laner. A uh, mid laner uh, in the LPL so far in the split, he's been really really good. So I definitely would consider captaining him if you are um, into that uh, narrative because really like he is gonna <laughs> like he's gonna dominate the lane against Dove. Dove is not a good mid laner in my opinion. He does not die often, but he is not a very good mid laner to put it simply um so uh, the statistics show that as well so i think scout is gonna have a uh you know very very good day today and then I, as i mentioned then he is starting in the top lane i think zika is gonna be pretty good in that matchup as well and I'll, i prefer tarzan over gideon but the bottom lane is what i hesitate a little why i hesitate a little bit on just picking out picking out lng to win two to zero I think On and Wink actually have been pretty good. So I like that advantage there for IG over LNG. Um, but every, everywhere else, I think LNG should have an advantage. 
Um, looking at the metrics, though, um, you see the kill upside, 25 over under, and then 0.83 uh, CKPM. So that's, you know, really high compared to everybody else's. Um, it is the highest uh, projected kill projected uh, matchup here. So LNG is in a smash spot, really. So you could probably differentiate your lineups, LP captain or scout captain or even Tarzan captain if you are interested in that. Um, other metrics, jungle control percentage, lane control, they, they all like gold spend percentage difference. They're all significantly better uh lngs that is um so yeah i think lng should really win this um but the bottom lane is what i like i said what gave gives me a little hesitance there so but i think i'm gonna say lng wins to should win two to zero i want to see the playoff implication let me see uh standings This is 2022. Where is 2013? All right. Spring season, spring standings. You see LNG is up here, the third spot. So they have, they actually do have a chance to move up to the round three seed, tying with JDG. Does FPX, no, I mean, uh, Invictus Gaming have, yeah, they do have a good chance here. Let's see. IG really needs to win this to stay in the playoff hunt. Um, but they lost two in a row, and you see LNG, one in a row, 10 and three. Yeah, I mean, I think I think both teams will be <clears throat> motivated to win tonight. Um, later in the season, like this in the split, we need to look at any motivation narrative. Um, but I like LNG still. Um, maybe IG for GPP. I don't know yet. Depending on other matchup uh, metrics, I think I'm just gonna see what other matchups kind of tell me, and then see if. Um, IG is the best, like who the best underdog spot is, you know. So I'll I'll take a look at that. But you know, I think IG having the bottom lane that is that has an advantage over LNGs. I think that is a good start. Another good reason for picking IG as a GPP pick. But we'll see. All right, um, FPX versus EDG is the next matchup. Um, as mentioned, Xiao Lao, who is starting in the top lane for FPX, who has been struggling a lot. You see they're 3-11. and 11. Um, They're in one of the bottom tier teams uh, here on the standings. And you see EDG is in the first place, 12-2. and two. Um, They need to keep winning, though, uh, to maintain that number one seed because um, JDG and LG are chasing them. Um, I think that's it for the standings talk so fbx really does not have that you know as big of a reason uh to win tonight i think they are eliminated already yeah so um i do want to point out something oh and cho cho yeah so uh, fpx so all right, based on my eye test, I think I said this about FPX last time, but Hacker is just not a good jungler, right? So like Hacker's, so you see, you'll see their met, you'll see his metrics, but Hacker is just not, you know, one of the elite junglers or even good junglers in the LPL. Um, and everybody else on that team has been playing like crap, except for Care in the mid lane. Um, so FPX really has a lot of problems to fix, and going up against EDG, I think that's going to be very tough. Uh, Leave and Mako in the bottom lane, along with JJ and Ale, Ala. Um, really, they've been playing really well, um, especially the bottom lane. I had a little uh, hesitance coming into the split backing uh, EDG because of this new bottom lane with Leave um, starting at AD carry, replacing Viper. But he has been phenomenal in replacing Viper. I think Leave has been really good. Uh, even some sometimes even better than Fofo, I think, who's been there uh longer than longer than leave. So uh, I think EDG has a solid team and thus they're in the first place on the standings. Um 
So yeah, let's look at the metrics though. 25, I mean 24 over under kills, 0.76. So it's slightly lower than IG LNG game. Uh, but everything else, I mean, still favors EDG as they should. Um significantly, some more significantly than the others. EDG has an advantage in every single lane except for the mid lane as mentioned. Fofo, I guess care over Fofo is there so i don't think i would prioritize fofo in my opinion um and then uh for edg though especially the top lane ala has a big advantage over shalau who here i think whoever starts here he shalau who or fearness but shalau who is starting tonight so i think ala has an advantage huge advantage there um but yeah so i'm gonna say edg should win two to zero do I have any reason to back FPX? Maybe care in the mid lane, and then just, but they just don't have a playoff motivation, like I talked about IG. Um, so really, care is like the only winning condition, in my opinion, for FPX because even their jungler hacker is so bad. I think the gap between JJ and hacker is bigger than Tarzan over Gideon in that other matchup. You see like plus 12 in favor of Tarzan and then plus 27 in favor of JJ and their respective matchups. Um, so yeah, I think EDG really should win this pretty handily, pretty easily. Um, I think this is the game where they should win, but this could be a letdown spot, you know, like I think looking up, looking out. Um, but then I don't know. I think I think EDG will be motivated by the fact that LNG IG is the first game, and LNG if they win, they'll be they'll be at eleven and three, right? So I think EDG will know that, and maybe they'll focus a little more, um, just having watched that last game, and how it looks on the standings. I think EDG really should take care of business tonight. Um, will I have any exposure to FPX? No, I don't think so. I think EDG wins the jungle gap between JJ over Hacker is too big to overcome for Care, who has an advantage over Fofo metric wise. All right. In the Korea, um, we have T1 versus Nongshim Red Force. T1 is only a favorite at minus 5,000. <laughs> Nongshim has been one of the bottom two teams in the LCK. T1 has been probably the top team in the LCK. So there's a huge gap there. Um, and for Nongshim, it's most likely that Call Me is going to start again in the mid lane. It hasn't been confirmed. It's only going to be confirmed one hour before their matchup time. So I just wanted to let you know that. Um, if you are playing Nongshim, you know, good luck to you, maybe. Um, I just don't think they're a good GPP pick either way because they have a lower CKPM here tonight, um, 0.68. So I don't think Nongshim is a good GPP play anyway, just based on the matchup, but also from the kill upside standpoint, they're just not a good GPP play. So even if they pull off an upset, they're not going to score as well. So, so anyway, T1 should win, uh, I think two to one or two to zero or two to one, even then I, I don't know if they're necessarily going to have a good kill upside. We'll see. I think, I mean, yeah, they have the highest CKPM amongst the four Korean teams here tonight. And they really don't have any motivation to, to win or to lose. It doesn't really matter. I think they want to experiment and kind of play together and keep keep up their form, uh, keep up their good form. Uh, so I think T1 should still win. If they fool around a little bit. That could help their kill upside as well. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have some T1. T1 should have decent kill upside i think depending on how the game goes right like if t1 plays a little bit uh too fast to lose i think they may have to like catch up but i think at the end of the day i think they'll still end up winning um which could turn out better for dfs purposes um but if they want to just take care of business i don't know why they would 
Um, it could be a low low kill game, but I just don't think T one's gonna do that. I think they're gonna fool around a little bit. Um, and Caria, so that this is an interesting nugget. I think Caria is going for the player of the split award as I think the first ever support player to win the player of the award, a player of the split in the LCK. That's never done before. That's never been done before. And Carrie actually leads that in that voting right now. Um, having won a lot of the player of the game awards uh, throughout each series that they played in. So I think Carrie is going to go for that. I think he is fully aware of that um, potential. So I would prioritize Caria for T1 tonight. I think that is going to be an interesting angle to take. Um, I, my, I guess my my big take for that matchup is that Caria. I I'm I'm like willing to say that Caria is going to be one of the top three players on that team to score the highest. I think I think Guma Yushi. Owner and Zeus carry. I think carry definitely has a potential to actually score pretty well tonight. Um, just you know, with that narrative, I think so. I like I like carry quite quite a bit tonight. So I'm gonna say carry going for that player of the split. Best, uh, first ever support player in the LCK history. He talked about this during his interview. So I will likely prioritize Caria and T1 stacks. All right. And then we have KT versus DRX. Um, KT is a big favorite as well. Um, I think they really have a playoff motivation as well. So I want to look at that real quick. LCK 2020. All right. So we have T1, as I mentioned, 16 and 1. Nongshim, you see 2 and 15. Then in the second game, KT has 12 and 5 record. And then DRX eliminated already. So DRX will experiment their roster. I think Juhan should Juhan should start. Um but Croco could come in or start and then Pleata Plita um is going to I think he's going to start at 80 carry but Duck Dom is there to either start or replace him maybe throughout the series so we don't know. We just we're just not gonna have that information since this is the second LCK matchup. We're not gonna have the confirmation starter confirmation before the slate locks. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, if you are looking to play DRX as the underdog, yeah, I mean, feel free to go ahead. I think the ownership is gonna be very very low, um, just given that uncertainty and the starters. So feel free to do that if you are interested. Um, I'm not sure if I will because KT really has has to win this to even go for that second spot. They can um, if they're willing to do that. They they they've won five in a row. Um, DRX has lost three in a row. Yeah, I mean KT should win, and it's support, supported by the metrics as well. So let's go through those. Um, we have 21 total kills over under, which is you know slightly lower than the T1 Nongshim. Red Force matchup um, and CKPM is actually lower than the T1 matchup, 6.66. Um, uh, so this is this is technically the lowest kill upside matchup. Technically, this is the lowest kill upside matchup. Math up matchup. Um, so yeah, anyway, but we we see that it's but actually uh, the metrics are not that far off in favor of KT. Um, actually, DRX has some pretty decent stats, I think, compared to KD. KT is not, I mean, still not better than KT's, but closer compared to other matchups that we've seen. I mean, you see LNG point plus 6.3, EDG plus point, I mean, plus 4.1, T1 plus 8%. So, and this one is sitting at 2.7%, right? So, 
I just wanted to point that out. Um, if you are looking to play DRX, that's one reason. But gold spend, spend percentage uh, difference is quite big, double digits, 13%. Um, so that's quite big. Um, not as big as T1s, but still, I think. And then T1, and then I think I mentioned K tier also has a playoff uh, motivation and reason to play well tonight to win this matchup. Um, and then KT's jungler has an advantage over Juhan, either Juhan or Croco. So Cuz should be in a decent spot here tonight. Um, and KT has an advantage in all the lanes, except uh, including especially the top lane and the mid lane. So Keen and the BDD have a pretty good matchup here tonight. Um, I think KT wins two to zero. Now, am I going to play any DRX? Maybe because the jungle control percentage is a little bit closer than I would have liked it to be for KT. Um, I think that's going to be an interesting question, right? Like, I think so far, I've eliminated Nongshim from my GPP pool. I've eliminated probably FPX because I like EDG quite a bit. Uh, JJ's uh, over Hacker. And and also based on the odds, I guess. I mean, Nongshim plus 1,300, FPX plus 675. Seven, six, Am I going to have some exposure to IG or DRX? It could. I mean, but this one is the lowest kill upside, so maybe not. So we'll see. All right. So that's one reason to, I guess, dissuade myself from playing DRX because this has a, has the lowest kill upside. Um, but even but but DRX actually plays tends to play a little bit fast. So that's an interesting one. All right, so that is probably all I got for you guys. Um, let's see if I forgot anything. So I think that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, this is my son right here who wants to tell you something. Smash the like button, guys.